What is up, everyone? Thank you for joining me. We are getting ready to play Outlast. That's right. Uh, when this game came out, I did not have direct capture. And it would have been very difficult to capture this game with my old camcorder. So I said, you know, I'm going to go back and play all the games that I missed with my new direct capture setup. Outlast is one that I've been requested numerous, numerous times. People really wanted to see my uh, gameplay and commentary of this game. As you know, this game recently received DLC called The Whistleblower. We're going to definitely check that out also, but I figure why not start with Outlast itself since I didn't cover it on here. So let's get right into it. I hope you've been joining me since the pre-stream. I got some great sub art from you guys. Thanks a lot. And uh, those of you that have been sticking with me, you don't have to wait much longer because we're going to get right into this game. The spooky, spooky, scary survival horror game. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta put the lights on, I'm sorry. Let's get into this. Start a new playthrough here. So your long wait is now over. Murray NJ08 is finally playing Outlast on the channel. With all its glory of direct capture. <laughs> Got some people in the chat room. Really excited. That's awesome. Thank you. Again, thank you for the sub art, too. Department of Agriculture Commissioner Salazar said changing weather patterns were to blame for the livestock behavior. Huh? Ranchers and oh shit! To attend this weekend seminar on Beulah Avenue in Pueblo. Forza Five. And if you're out <laughs> late tonight, you may see some low-flying helicopters Ugh. near Silverthorn and Leadville. Greystone. The Arapaho Park Services will be spraying for an infestation of box elder bugs. Oh shit! We got them. Children indoors between the hours of 10 and 3 in the a.m. We got stink bugs too. I hope you're going to spray for zombies. <laughs> oh shit. Mount Massive Asylum. Damn. That sounds like a welcoming place, huh? Hmm. You know, I'm debating on whether I should uh, get out of this car or not. Hmm. Oh shit, what's this? You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Facilities in Mount Massive. All, sort, all sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening here. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy, going on too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkoff is making money. So I guess Murkoff is the company that owns this place. It needs to be exposed. There's our camcorder, huh? Now, those of you that have been following me, we just played Daylight, and th that you actually used a cell phone. This you, looks like you use a camcorder. Huh. Oh, wow, it's got uh, night vision on it. Yeah, definitely a welcoming place. Objects are updated in your reporter's notebook containing your notes and picked up documents. Okay. So that's our notes. Look at this, the whistleblower. Oh, wow. So this note is actually called the whistleblower. Wow. There's our camcorder, so we go like that. Oh, okay. So if you hit the right stick... It's, it's night vision. And you don't even have to have it at all, huh? 
there's the battery. Might as well save it, right? So in this game, you have to pick up batteries. In, the, in daylight, you had to pick up glow sticks. Look at this. Somebody left the computer on, huh? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Everybody's saying I should have had face cam. <laughs> Eh, you don't want to see my ugly mug. Ah, so by raising your camcorder also makes notes. Let's see. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost sis signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Wow, this guy's got it in for them, huh?